evening and welcome to this edition of the Evening News for today, Saturday, March 20, 2021. I'm Jemima Holmes. Thank you for tuning in. In the headlines tonight, pedal cyclist dies after being struck by minibus on East Coast Demerara Road. President Ali says tertiary education must add to the demand of the new economy. Guyana's campaign financing laws outdated, not acceptable, says head of EU observation mission. Large gatherings banned for Pagwa celebrations. And police commander ranks in Region 1 get COVID-19 vaccine as two more deaths recorded. And now for the news in detail. We begin tonight's newscast by telling you that a pedal cyclist is now dead after he was struck by a minibus on the Stras Bay East Coast Demerara Public Road Friday morning. Dead is 80-year-old Wilfred Stephen of Lot 19 Vigilance North, East Coast Demerara. He had sustained a broken right leg and head injuries from the accident. It was reported that the minibus was heading up the East Coast on the northern side of the road, while the pedal cyclist was also proceeding in the same direction. However, while in the vicinity of Stras Bay, the pedal cyclist suddenly turned to cross to the other side of the public road and ended up in the path of the minibus. After being hit, Stephen was picked up in an unconscious state and taken to the Georgetown Public Hospital. The police said today that he died at the hospital without regaining consciousness. His body is at the GPHC mortuary, awaiting a post-mortem examination. Meanwhile, the bus driver is in custody, assisting with investigations. We now tell you that President Dr. Irfan Ali on Friday evening delivered his address to the University of Guyana's graduating class of 2020, where he underscored the importance of tertiary education and pledged his government's commitment towards the development of the tertiary institution. More in this Lake Rambagirat report. Tertiary education must add to the demand of the new economy, which requires higher levels of skills, particularly technical skills. The government of Guyana is here to support our free education, especially through investments and through collaboration with our varied education stakeholders to improve the range of educational options available to our citizenry. President Irfan Ali during the delivery of his convocation speech to the University of Ghana's class of 2020. The head of state spoke virtually where he said that his government remains committed to the refashioning of the University of Ghana to better respond to the needs of a modern society. He reminded of some of the commitments his government made before taking office in August of 2020, namely providing free access to tertiary education to all Guyanese and the provision of over 20,000 scholarships before the end of its five-year term. 